PortaTree is the leader in drag race practice trees, test tracks, and simulators. Check out PortaTree.com today. Versus A, B, R, Summit side of the racetrack, a 10 flat over through the 2014 Mustang. And at some point, it all comes down to Ford versus Chevrolet, right? Well, here we go. And Ford versus Chevrolet had an interesting twist. Robin Lawrence is probably best known. He made his bones in drag racing, racing Fords. Here he is in a Chevrolet trying to take down a, a Copo, or rather a Cobra Jet Mustang of uh, Randy Hopkins over the National Dragster Lane. They use a five tenths full tree. Those of you who are used to watching the Mellow Yellow series, when the tree comes down, the slower car gets a handicap start. We put those two nylons into the computer, the computer does the math, lets the slower car go first by the difference in the two nylons. You will see it happen on the starting line. Pre stage bulbs lit. Lawrence on the right side, Hopkins on the left. Lawrence first to stage. Hopkins goes in, here comes the tree. The half of the, roughly half the time difference of Garrett's 58 half seconds to get down the racetrack, give or take. He's giving up half of that time for Randall Campbell. Campbell is so bad. To another 2004 GTL, this one driven by Jimmy Hidalgo Jr. Hidalgo Jr. down 1103, but blister dial 1087. Staging up on the summit side of the racetrack. It's an A automatic dial, 1012 to a 1087 dial for Mark Kirby. I was trying to remember what the paint job of Mark Kirby's car reminded me of. There was a funny car, a duster body funny car in the 70s called the Super Duster that was painted almost the exact same way that thing is. And it finally just came through the window and smacked me upside the head. I'm glad you were able to pull it up. Here comes the tree. Red lights. And Donnie Beeler, 327, 1967 Camaro, 1096 dialing for the G-Stick machine. That's a manual transmission to a 939 for Dave Thomas. Wind it up, dump the clutch and try to pull the shift handle through. Chevrolet Performance U.S. National, dial 1282 to Mike Morgan's K-Automatic 76 Fiber with a 400, dial 1178. Larry Hill and Anthony Bon Giovanni in the first round or the second round, I know where we're in the program right now, but he raced against that Mustang that is very, very fast. Oh. Drivers pre-stage and Britt Cummings, or rather Slate Cummings and Britt, are not known as guys that just go diving on in there. They will take their sweet time, and he did. Matt goes in, Slate goes in. Let's see how Matt does the Christmas tree. Two over wins the race. There are things that are cos cosmically right in the universe, and here they are. Stephen Bell, the 2014 Gobo Camaro, and we're here on a Saturday night in Indy to watch Ben Wenzel Sr. wind up a 67 Z28, dump the clutch, and do the same stuff he did in 1967 when he took home a U.S. Nationals victory in the same car. Jersey. That's
it's the National Dragster side of the racetrack with the 2008 Mustang. 909 is the diamond against Anthony Fetch. 69 Camaro with a 3. High Gear Harem with a D Automatic versus a C Automatic. You can see the breakdown right here. 2000 Corvette can go first. So Harem is pre-staged. Santangelo, a very, very talented racer, a big time player in Division I. He's had a lot of success this year. See what he can do in Anthony. He's Joe Santangelo goes 66 3. Three stock showdown. He took the whole shooting match down with this car. 865, as Joe just stated, the dial in. George Yago Jr. is going to have a big jump in the Copo. And then Chris Holbrook will unleash the crack. Under the hood, Joe Wilkes, 995. Chevrolet on Chevrolet Combat on the starting line. Parker, the bench for that lead. The G Stick 69 Camaro will be banging the gears. 1092 the dial. The stick shift cars have not fared well so far in this round of stock. I think only one has escaped. We've had three or four. For the most part, they have been down. So David Walter trying to maintain what little we have left on the four speed contingent. Wheelie Mealy, National Dragster Lane. 14 Cobra Jet. 429 inches. the inventor of the Caltrack car, the Calvert family. I love Rick Winchester's car, but I really love Rick Calvert. Two things he has to do. He obviously has to drive his car, but he has to look, trying to get to the finish line first. Dick will have to decide who's going to get to the finish line. Either he is or Steve Novosel and make the appropriate adjustment. It is tough to do. Than this. Folks in the grandstand, if you're watching Stock Eliminator, I encourage you. 
to pick favorites with your good friends and neighbors and try to guess which one will win. That is always fun, you know, guessing which one will win. It is. Irvin Johns. Fun is good. This is the time of night I love the most. We've got stage balls lit. We've got crowds. side of the The new school guys root for that Copo. Hagberg's car has a Hemi in it. I, I misspoke there. It has a 426 Hemi, a single four barrel. It has the NASCAR style Hemi that came out. The Drag Race Hemi that was released in 64 had twin four barrels on it. The NASCAR engine, a single four barrel. Yeah. Yeah. Stealth fighter out there in the summit lane. The B2 bomber out there. He's going to he's be very tough to track at the top end for Keith Lynch. They're only leaving about less than uh, nine tenths of a second apart. Rosalind Gressens, the 89 Mustang, down 12.54. Huge spot racing into the night. It's going to be a fun one. I'll take it, tell you what, underdog, I'm pulling for the Peace Stalker. The 302. Rosalind Lee. This is brand new factory racing. It's a triple A stalker. He's a respiratory therapist out 876. Strickland, boy, tough draw. Strickland racing signpunk.com in the Coco Camaro down 10 to 24. We need a Chevrolet Public Coco truck package. the 2014 Copo. Mike is integral, has been in developing these cars from scratch. No, he escaped. The bug has escaped. I'm worried he's coming back for vengeance. Well, it's, there a, he is. it's a moth, so you don't have a lot to fear. Marty Booth and Larry Stewart. Marty Dow, 1242 to the 1058 of Larry Stewart. Red Mike Scott. seen it before but 1090 is an island the 73 formula firebird the 455 inch engine dual snorkel hood and bob hockren dialed 956 double c stock automatic 2014 copo camaro Anytime you lose with a perfect light is really, really, really brutally tough. Randy Lynn Ship, 67 Firebird down 1059. It's Brick coming. Brick coming. You saw Slate take away. Let's see Brick again. Dave Conley in the 2014 Coco Camaro down 899. We saw him running pro stock.
Scott. Now he is running Stock Eliminator, hardcore drag racer. He's got to mix it up with Corey Hawkins, a G Automatic Dodge with 383 under the hood of a 69 Dart. Super Gas, you should be in the lane. Super Gas, you should be in the stadium. Tim Wensibel and Dan Fletcher. Dial 1044 in the 2014 Cobo Camaro. Sponsored by Peak 80 Freezing Oil. Fletcher just breaking this car out. Getting a little experience now in this 2014 Camaro. And for so many years running that 69 in stock eliminator. Gets to try out the new toy. Let's watch Tim wind up that 283 and step off the clutch. See if he can defy physics and get the nose of that car up in the air. Yeah. And Jonathan Allegrucci from Mayfield, Pennsylvania, 25-year-old guy in a 2011 Challenger drag pack with a 512 cubic inch naturally aspirated V10 engine. Very unique sound to that engine. It does. You can tell. And the wide stance wheelie bars. So we talked about both wheelie bars are spread very, very wide, but adds that stability. See if he uses those wheelie bars after Iacono gets the jump. Go to the next round. Hey Gillespie, I love the rake on this Camaro. Look at that, that tail high stance, that, that chin dragging nose out there. I like it. Looks tough. It is Fire Firebird. Yes, it's a Firebird. Earlier in the week, I called a GTO at Nova. Words is hard. It's yeah. the same. Words is hard. 